Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now, we've got the Kingdom of America looking pretty good. And there's New Mexico and no Central America, so... Uh, they've been fully annexed for now, and we're doing quite well. And actually, I guess we're just flying on Costa Rica. we got some comps to go through, and we're halfway done doing that, but we're currently doing America Land of Kings. Despite all odds, we've done it. We've secured America for a monarchy. We've converted the failing Republican system into an efficient monarchist one and killed off American Republicanism once and for all. America prospers once more as our nation is triumphantly led into a brighter future by a monarch. Great. Cool. And that's the one right down there? Cool. And? Oh, look at that. It's kind of chuggy. A little chuggy there. But we've done it. America is now the land of kings. Um... I'll be honest, for us this campaign, I just kind of just want to kill off Canada. So let's go ahead and come all the way over here, because we've done pretty much literally all the other focuses, except for everything right here, so New England's future. We're now separate from our old country men. As such, we must find our own path in this role. Canada and the actual France insist that we help them reclaim their territories in Europe. On the other hand, we could also turn inwards and try to salvage what we can, creating a prosperous New England. Well, I think maybe a little bit more than just New England, but you know, that's okay. Uh, we could rebuild Alaska. Actually, eventually, I didn't like rebuild everything here. Like, oh, America retaken. Because... It just became core states, so it's very weird. But those who claim the New English aristocracy was a joke or a sham will be sorry when they see the new America, an America ruled in the style of the old British Empire. And the, but that is still fundamentally American. The Washingtons are now just one of the hundreds of families that have been ele elevated to noble status as a result of the pre-war or pre-Civil War power in the country. The old 48 states have been transferred into 48 duchies, ruled by their respective dukes. These dukes have far more authority than governors ever enjoy, which will hopefully give them enough room to crush revolts as they see fit. Meanwhile, counties have become baronies, run by local barons who will ensure that order will be maintained even on a small scale. This kingdom of America still has its issues, of course. The noble families sometimes bicker amongst themselves, and there is question of our place in the Entente now. That will reuni reunify the country. It is of no matter, though, because a new America has been reborn in the ashes of the old. This time, the rightful rulers of this country shall not relinquish control to the vagrant beggars and dirty villains who roam our streets. Glory to America, land of kings. Oh, we have some tanks. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't wait to roll these bad boys out against the Canadians, because Canadians go have to go bye-bye. Uh, we'll go around here-ish to begin with, with these five fine folks. Blenders for loading is gone. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And as these guys are just killing each other, which is fine for us to watch. You know what, let them kill each other. If they want to both die, that's okay with us, you know. Who are we to judge? Ah, uh, that'd be really good for Tank Arenas, would it not be? Yes, please, thank you. And there comes Belgium. Belgium exists now, look at that. Led by Joseph, or Joseph Jacquemot. I totally speak perfect, perfect French Arena. And let's see, we got a destroyer. And we finally made a Dreadnought. Very nice. That's all we have. One capital ship sale, but oh well. So, now, uh, friends in the north, which I'm not going to do this, this campaign, because I'm going to go uh, just find them next, but armed free neutrality. I'm going to have to do some excavation, and we're pretty much done with that page. Nice. It is 1944, of course, so uh, this campaign is not too bad. Uh, actually, you know what? We can read about this stuff in a little bit. Let's, after we get fewer refining, um, how many days we got left? Two days. This one has quite a few more days. Let's go ahead and grab... Some nuclear reactors. That'd be good. Uh, nuclear New England is always very nice to have. So, um, friends in the North, no thanks. Join the Entente exercises, but armed for neutrality. Why should we shed our blood fighting other Americans or fighting for Canada? We are New England, our own region. That is saying that there is a saying that many of our own people have taken as their own in recent times. Don't tread on me. Don't tread on the American monarchy. Now we could do joint Entente exercises and the British Pact and joint coastal defenses and joint ISAC. Uh, back to the back the French, as well as back Boston to Ottawa, and wealth cooperation, which isn't bad, because you get more political power and stability, but I think we'll be okay. I'm not interested in joining their little faction up there. They try to kill us off, so first we'll kill off Costa Rica, and then we'll kill off Canada, because they don't deserve freedom. It just is what it is. Actually, they're doing pretty well against the Spanish Republic, though. The Canada and France looking pretty nice, not gonna lie. Vickers, very cool, very, very, very cool. And grab some better planes, because you can. Anything else over here? Ooh, ships. It's just all ships. All ships. Look at the. There's a lot in the Entente. I think the Entente in the end will win. But Canada uh, is not going to go back to the uh, British Isles. I mean, unless they invade. Or naval invade, but... Even then, they're not really pushing in that well. Even though Spain is pushing in to the Spanish Republic. And they're completely alone. So... Very good. Oh, they did push the Kingdom of Italy, though. Wait, why is... What is the kingdom? Were they part of the Reichspact? They might have been, actually. 
Yeah, they're fighting the Entente, so that kind of sucks for them. But, oh, well, that's not us, right? New England's foreign policy. Our young nation must now create a foreign policy for itself. Too many schools of thought have presented themselves. One says we move closer to our allies in the north and help the Entente. The other promotes a more neutral approach to foreign policy. They'll see us govern ourselves. That one? Nah, go our own way, my friends. Go our own way. Boss in line. The last thing we want... Uh, is for fighting to spill over to the New England er, or territory. We plan to build a line of fortifications on the southern border, creating fortifications, trenches, and anything else that help us hold up the whole line. Those who wish to flee to our country will be allowed in, but enemy soldiers will be shot before they even have a chance to cross into our country. Followed up with harboring exiles. Oh, good old American exiles. There are people all over America who wish to flee the chaos to the south and west. We will welcome them with open arms. There are also some British exiles in Canada who wish to settle in our region, and we'll accept them too. We shall be a land of immigrants, and this new blood shall make our independence a certainty. 25,000 more manpower? Because why not? Awesome comments. Let's see. Someone says I should do the Ottomans again. Yeah. I should try the Ottomans again. When I did the Ottomans campaign in, like, Kaiser Reich, I think? I think I'm pretty sure it was Kaiser Reich. It was a mess. I, it was pretty messy. Like, by the end, like, it got really flippin' messy, but the Cairo Pact is doing really well against the Germans. I mean, I can't imagine the Germans have a really good army right... Well, they have a lot of manpower, do they? Um, the Egyptians have about the same amount... Oh, there goes Rome. Well, that's a lot of divisions for the Germans, and that's a lot of divisions for the those guys too. But I think we got to prepare ourselves, right? All right, a little bit more lag, because what else is Kaiser Redux? About just a bunch of thirty days. That's really nice, actually. Holy crap! Um, go ahead, guys. Have a good time. Cool. I don't think Costa Rica will really be able to stand up to us, but that's okay with us, right? We are a okay with that. Also, we did have to go down to. Um, probably partial mobilization, so. Yeah, there we go. Can't go to a war economy, but that's alright. Things happen. Boss in line. Oh, American infrastructure harboring it, so is definitely the one we want to do next, though. So. Cool, cool, cool. Head on in, boys. Head on in. And next tile, please. Thank you. And. Koto Bruce. Nice. All right, my boys and girls, let's get ready to invade the goddamn evil Canadians and put them out of the misery, right? That's what we're here for. Heavy modern holes? Oh, yes, please. Sign us up. We like them thick and heavy. If they're not thick and heavy, we don't want them. And we do have 35 naval XP, which is really nice, too. This is actually looking really good. Level 3 armor? Well, that's the best we can get for now. Um, honestly? Okay, Serbian Illyria. That's a better attack of dual purpose. Um, yeah, definitely. So, there's a slight difference. You can barely tell there's a difference here, but yeah, there's a slight difference there. And there you go. It slows us down a little bit more, but whatever. Fire Control 3 is fine enough. Yeah, it's good. Good stuff. Modern Heavy Holes, yes. Ooh, please. And goodbye. Got enough supplies for it. Uh, what do we have over here? Mechanized? There you go. If we have enough, we can do that too. So, we got one, two, three, four. Five, six, not bad. Modern heavies. Nothing says hurrah like a, you know, modern battleship, I guess. Battleships being modern is very weird, but that's alright. 3,000 kind boys. Keep making ships. Keep making them. Five more. Nice. None of them are capital ships. Gosh darn it. <laughs> How strong is the Canadian army? That's my main question. How strong are they? 113. That's not bad. The uh, division count is what? 60? Eh, that's not too bad. We should be able to do okay. How is the world doing? And Italy's doing okay ish. The Belgrade Pact is at war with them too. Ah, I literally de declare war on these guys, so. I would hate to be the Banat Republic. The peacemaker of the Balkans, huh? Just because, like, everyone wants to kill you. The kingdom in exile, huh? I need to play as Banat sometime, but not any day soon. Just sometimes. Oh, look at that. Exiles no more. Look at that. Wow, there's a lot for Banat. I love. I love Banat. Banat, Banat, Banat. Cool. Harboring Exiles, thank you very much. Followed up with American infrastructure. We like that. We still have infrastructure left over from our time in America, obviously. We shouldn't neglect these areas. In fact, we should make sure they're rebuilt and up to date. That way, we can trade with whoever wins the American Civil War and benefit from the roads already built. Which, uh, I'll be honest here, like, I know it's supposed to be New England only, but why is it in Arkansas and Black South Carolina? Not even just South Carolina, just just Black South Carolina. You know, just gotta get that black in there. 
Oh, well, I guess technically we will be going to war with you as well. You're part of the Anton, aren't you? Yeah, that's true. So, actually, you know what? You guys come down here. You should just be able to tr be trucking on through here, right? We got, oh, we got the thing done too for them? No, nice. All right, Mr. Star Wars guy, you're over there. Let's come over here too. And Dr. Phil, hope you like your trip down to Panama. Very nice. Cool, that's good with us. Nice, there we go. Very awesome, very, 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 very awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. We have a couple more days. Bulgaria's gone. Get some good old plain arenos. And get some of that naval bomber stuff too. We could probably use that, right? We probably could. Fighter twos. Ah, uh, one, two, one, two. It's not bad. Hurts the reliability a little bit too much, though, so. There you go. Good enough. And, oh, wait, we're importing a lot of stuff, as you can see, which is not very good, but whatever. Go and stop training. Please tell me we have that. that's a capital ship. It's probably not. No, it's not. Gosh darn it. Go and repair. Thank you. Come again. Do that. How many ships need to repair? None? Well, 11, I guess. That's not bad, Miami. All or nothing armor cruiser scheme. That's fine. We have war justification until the 10th of July, which is very, very good. And Irish relations, huh? We talk Long Island? Well, oh, there goes Serbia. Goodbye, Serbia. Well, we can hold out anyway. Romania do be looking kind of nice, though, but still. The German government in exile is doing their best, too, so. Huh. It's weird that they own Austria, not, not anything else, but whatever. How strong is it coming to France? How much manpower do you have left? It's not bad. All adults serve. You guys are on. <laughs> volunteer only. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'm, I'm, we're li literally just waiting for these guys to get down here. I know it's a long, long truck down here, but still, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Are the Canadians ready for an invasion? I hope they are. Because we're going to go in mercilessly. Come on, I just want to get you down here. Get a little bit more organization than that. I'm sure these guys have more man more divisions than us. Yeah, technically, yeah, they do. Up to five, which isn't bad, but still. All right, I'm not sure where they're at, but it's time to go. Let's see what happens. What type of magic can we make? Screw you, Canada. Let's go in, boys. Let's go in. Oh, wait. Uh, we're not at war with them yet. All right, well, that's weird. Well, we're entering them, which sounds really weird to say. We're entering them. Wow. Look at all this. Sure, guys. You want a non-aggression pact? I'm kind of okay with that. Senegambia. Well, just literally walking in on Ottawa. Nice. Must be a nice this time of year. Actually, it probably is pretty nice. June? It's probably not too bad. Local militias? The tradition of militias in New England goes back to the Revolutionary War, where militias from Vermont and other areas made a name for themselves during the war. We'll continue this tradition into the modern day and form new militias that will guard us at the border from extremists and autocrats. Yes. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, kind of was good. So, oh, look at this. Whoa, we actually lost five destroyers in exchange for... Not bad. Considering our group is not really that good at all. Not bad. Seriously, how have you knocked all these guys in? Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, that was it. Cool. How are we not going to war these guys yet? Please respond. Please. Please respond. Any other ships yet? Nope. Oh, Canada ship falls soon. We took Ottawa. Oh, would you know? We want, we want to get back um, Alaska, really, too. So That'll be important to do. Get some better medium tanks. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thunderbolts. Awesome. South Portland Shipping Corporation. Sure. Walsh Kaiser Company. So I'm trying to crack my finger and it's just not popping, baby. Mm. All right, then. Mr. Adam Driver. I finally remembered what your name was. And Mr. Boris. I don't know how you're still alive, but we're going to not question what the devs think. Very good. Very good. Wow. Oh, the Ottomans are in the Entente, too. Look at that. I didn't realize that. 
At first of all, that, that was us, but no, that's not quite us. America, Kingdom of America, 53, that's pretty nice. We've only gotten rid of 5,400, so it's all good. Head on down here, guys. We've got to capitulate them. Uh-oh. Oh! Nice! With a dreadnought? Not bad. With enough uh, cruisers, we do... Okay, never mind. I thought we were going to do okay, but... Yeah, destroyers just aren't worth it. It's, we're, the cruisers are, are where it's at, man. Those light guns I got on them. They pew pew quite a bit. Oh, look at that. With a dreadnought there. They just... We're making short work of them. They can't turn fast enough to fight a dreadnought to avoid getting hit, so... Fleet anti-air is not bad. Yeah, they just... Yeah. I do be liking the dreadnought quite a bit. Not gonna lie. And now we've got a carrier, which isn't great to have. I'd rather have a dreadnought or a battleship, but, you know, I'll still take it. Not shabby. Not shabby. Sure, guys. You want a non-aggression back? Sure. And there go the planes. It's, not, it's only 40, 40 planes. But I'd rather have them than not have them, so. Another one of these guys. Very good. Very nice. Nice. Uh, guys, do we get Canada yet, please? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love sinking the convoys. I love sinking them. Actually, how many... Hmm. We're now at 50,000 versus 400 losses from us. Oh, yeah. Send them back, boys. Send them back. Oh, look at that drop. Oh, it's so nice. 22. Good, good, good. 24. Wow. Oh, we're even doing port strikes now. Look at that. And they should be dead soon. Oh, the fall of Bucharest, nice. Local militias, yes please. I don't even know what this gave us. We're a critical population, only 3%, but we'll take it. Lost some planes here, that's alright. Followed up with New English Fleet. For 300 years, the New England specialized in lumber and shipbuilding. Let's continue this tradition with a new navy. We'll make sure we are never invaded by sea and we can always even take the fight to other countries. Should the necessity arise with a fleet, our country will be that much safer. Not bad, that definitely will help us out immediately. So we'll see what happens. See what happens. Um, do we have the Halifax? No, over oh, Victoria. I guess it's Vic a Vicky 2. No, just Vicky. There's no 2. There's just Vicky. Icky Vicky. Aw, oh, yeah. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. If they combine them, they'd be even stronger, probably, honestly, but still. And that's a big but still. Actually, how much more do we need to do? I mean, look at that. It's so close. 97% of the way there. We've only killed off 100,000 of them, basically. Only 100,000. Go, boys, go. You're doing an, a fine job. These guys are starving, though, like. Swiss Confederation is gone. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, Europe is just bleeding itself to death. As it normally does, historically, so. When in doubt, just kill them off. Oh, we got them! That's, oh, well, be honest, that's pretty much what I want to do in this episode. Um, after, what, they try to kill us off, we do use cons commands. King Albert flees from Can Kingdom of Can Canada. With the situation in the Kingdom of Canada, growing more dire by the moment, King Albert and the Lord royal families fled al uh, along with the high ranking exiles of the Australasian Confederation, where they hoped to find a safe harbor and launch some kind of resistance. The Canadian military leadership is meeting with the Russian generals, and they hope to set up a new Entente command in the Russian Democratic Federative Republic. There's no getting over the major blow, which is the loss of the Kingdom of Canada, the king announced in a radio address, but he urges all subjects to remain free that not, not, not all is lost yet. He can run, but he can't hide. And we're going to take all this. And actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm taking all of the uh, guys here. I'm taking all of uh, the Americans. Uh, so, And... I don't know who deserves this here. You, no, I don't know about that. Mm. Um, I think it looks nice. Here. You guys can have this. There you go. Look, it look a little nicer. There you go. No, that, that looks like more uh, more buff. I like that. That's like, That doesn't look like a tumor. That looks more like a buff Italy, like punching its way into France. At least in my opinion, that's what it looks like. Not a bad Kingdom of America. Oh, look at this too. Well, I can't really care about it right now, I'll be honest, anymore, but still. Develop coal? Look at all the stuff we can develop. Oh, we can rebuild Alaska. Oh, we can rebuild it again? Okay. Puerto Rico. Sure, we'll do that one. That's fine. Um, Anything else here? Yeah, I guess so. Why not? A little bit of lag, but you know, what else is new? And what else? Yeah, I'm... Grab okay, now you show up? Now you want to do something? Well, since we're here... Wait, we own Mali? Kingdom of America? Um, the River Valley of Niger, once known as French Sudan or Mali, is not directly integrated to our territories. This colony, though, needs a better administration that will have difficulties to provide, nevertheless. Local population. 
and remnants of the French administration can administer it for us to an extent. Should we let him form a little puppet state? Ah, that's fine. We can have a puppet state. Let's do Mosi land next. The ancient land of the Mosi have come to our control and we're now a part of our country. Often divided and badly regarded by the colonial authorities, the Mosi people are now pleading for us the possibility to create an independent state of their own, with influential Moghul Naba at the head of the government movement. Should we let them organize themselves to an extent? Sure, why not? Ah, this is very rare for me to say. If you follow my channel, you know I'm like, I don't want anybody independent, but since we're pretty much close to the end here, the fate of the West Indies. After a long campaign, a good portion of the Caribbean region is now under control. We must decide what to do with the many scattered lands. Liberate them, or decide to do with... We'll do decide what to do with each of them individually, just because anything in the Americas, I want a straight-up annex, so... Ah, there goes Serbia. Goodbye, Serbia. Kill it off by your own big daddy. There goes Panama. Fate of Mauritania. The desert region of Mauritania has come under the control of our armies. The former French colony, not even past five, 15 years ago, is now in need of government to rule it efficiently to avoid the territory falling into anarchy once again. Should we consider creating Mauritanian Papa State? Absolutely. And Fate of... Oh, Canada? Oh, Canada. Ooh, the Librarian Frontier. That looks cool. I like that. The Frontier Administration. That looks really cool. I love that a lot. Do they have unique focus They do not. Liberia. You, you made a name for yourself, Edwin. Nice. Very nice. Oh, we got more tanks. Well, we got Panama Canal back, which is nice, but still. Uh, Fate of Jamaica. Following a brief campaign, Kingston still under control in which the Kingdom of Jamaica. What should we do with the island? Occupation. Trinidad. Um, Port of Spain's come out of control. Thank you. Eat him up. Uh... Fate of Puerto Rico. Following a brief campaign, San Juan ha is under our control again, and with it, all of Puerto Rico. What should be done? Military occupation. Fate of Canada. Let's see what we do with these bad boys. Finally, the crop dominion of Canada. Hope home of the British Axis has capitulated to glorious armies. The parts of the king and his close circle fled the country, but this doesn't matter. We now control the large portions of the land. What should we do? Military occupation. Liberate Canada and Quebec. Liberate Loyal Canada. Nope. We gotta do what should have been done a hundred thousand years ago. Canada and everyone else coming together. I already did this once, but I'm going to take the hit again, because we can. And now we're going to finish off this focus tree very quickly. Come on. Come on. Click, 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 click. New English Fleet, F.A., thank you. New English Gunboat Diplomacy. The British used to conduct gunboat diplomacy across the world using the navies into negotiations. We will strive to do the same thing. Let's build a powerful navy capable of assisting our democracy or diplomacy anywhere in the world. Nice. Cannon City. Our borders should not bear our only fortified areas. We must also fortify our town cities, particularly Boston. We'll begin a project that is popularly known as Cannon City to make sure Boston never falls to the chaotic forces of the South. A series of level 3 forts will be built in Boston due to the ongoing conflict. Protection is trade. We will place high tariffs on coming, incoming trade so that we can protect our own workers. Our industry is blooming, but it could be endangered by foreign competition. Let's make sure that we're an industrial and economic giant now for the foreseeable future. Nice. Iron Beacon. There are two ways we wish to portray our country. For one thing, we are a nation of immigrants and freedom, a beacon of liberty. We are also armed and will not give up our freedom to anybody. These ideas are combined have created a unique national story. We are the armed beacon of North America. Irish relations. Many different people can trace their roots to Ireland. It is as much a part of our identity as Britain is. We should pursue closer relations with the state of Ireland, and perhaps take inspiration from them for our own country. As the Irish fought for and won their independence, we shall so so shall we if we must. Ireland, here we come. And we take Long Island. New York should be part of New England. We, while we do control upstate New York, Long Island has been elevating our control. The city of New York is one of the most populous and prosperous cities on earth, and with it under our control, our independence will be secure for quite some time. It's a land that is rightfully ours. We shall do what we can to secure it. Cool, but that's... Ooh, oh, actually, hold on. Now that should be the end of... Well, history. But, hey, a uh, couple comments that I didn't even address yet. Someone says I should do the NE, or National Populist Route. Yeah, NP path. I've actually done plays Lovecraft before, so I will leave that campaign... Um, the first video of that campaign in, it will be the first link in the description below. Um, someone says, up with the crown, yep. And someone says, I should do a 48 colonies path, probably sometime. And I should also prevent the American Civil War with North or Ghana. But hey, if you enjoyed the video and campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.